Good morning at Tarbell Distillery. Today we bring you a special treat. Uh, the man that started it all, uh, Zindi Tarabello, Seymour Tarabello in Detroit. Here he is. Tell the family tale and uh, history and alcohol. I was born in 1933, so maybe towards the end of uh, Prohibition. And I remember a little bit about it. And this much I can tell you that most of the homes were involved in making some form of liquor, whether it was bathtub gin or it was something else, brandies maybe or something. They would put it up in regular bottles and it, they would try to sell it and they use as much as they could in the home. But the excess, they would take and bottle and they would put it into the baby carriages of that day. Nobody really would start to look in people's baby carriages. They figured that the old carriage was the type that had blankets in it there and it had like a half a hood over the top. So they were able to, to put many bottles of, of their home brewed liquor into the carriages and then cover it with blankets and thinking, you know, this man is taking his little baby for a walk and nothing very, very innocent like. And this went on for, I don't know, until the, until the revoke prohibition. And that's really basically what I remember and probably my grandfather of Asholem and others probably maybe his children there, his sons could have taken it already into it to, to do this as well. Because it was a, a good way to supplement whatever you made and what you made in those days during the depression wasn't too much. So more than likely they did quite a bit of that. That's about all I can remember. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here is our mad scientist. Benny. Benny. Making the beer. Making the beer. Revving up the engine for some Geschmacka moonshine. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. So can we have an interview? Benny. Can we have an interview? With the flash, get Ellie smartphone. you want to have an interview with the professor? Flash, it doesn't have a light. It's gonna be disaster. Benny, I can see you very good. Can we have an interview with the professor? No, I'm hard at work. Questions? Can we ask questions? After the session. What exactly are you doing? Where do you, Benny? Sorry. Benny, where do you hail from? India, what's your background? Do you have any degrees in anything? Everything. A degree in everything. Mm. Oh, he's and the rabbi is the the professor who's always worried about minion. <laughs> Um, Binny, you asked me to take a video, Binny. I'm taking a video. I know, but I don't have to be making noise all the time. You know? Well, I want to interview with the professor. Okay, so ask the question. Okay, where do you hail from? From well, Lakeland, New Jersey. Wow. And what are you doing? Okay, on one second, it's getting too hot. Oh no, emergency, it's getting too hot. You have to get the flame. I did, I did. You want to get the video of this also? Yeah, but Benny, all the water is going into the metal container also. That's the way. You have to put metal in the water. What? Here, get this water for our video. Get my phone on video, Mayor. Here. Benny, I can't do everything. Come here. Come here. Give us the number to take a video. So, are you drunk? But are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I actually don't enjoy alcohol. I enjoy. The Benjamin, the good stuff is going in the garbage pail. No, it's actually going in your metal pot in there. Is that the good stuff, or yeah, or is the good stuff still in the pot? Oh, the good stuff. That's 
smoking. <laughs> no, that's just that's the fermenter stuff. Not what? I don't know how to do this. I messed it up. I'll have to give you a shear when I'm not worried about over you. Now you're gonna get fumes because I let it get too hot. Fumes are dangerous, right? No, you can just get high on fumes. Here we are with a 40-year-old rum cask that was used for Carabello Wild Belt rum finish. Gotta get ready for your grill. All you gotta do is put this on your grill, put your steak on, and get it smoking. Here we are, bagging your wood. Alright guys, 